What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. All you new subscribers, I'm Barboss. If you guys watched the giveaway, Mr. CCCRX uh, won these three packages and I told him to leave me his uh, email address where I could contact him and go ahead and get this shipped out. That was yesterday. And then uh, later on, he hit me back with this email address. I got in contact with him and I found out that he's only like 25 to 30 minutes away from my house. So I'm gonna go ahead and just drive these out there and go ahead and throw them in his mailbox. Um, he doesn't know about that, but it'll be a fun little surprise later on when he sees this video. Either way, I'm headed to your house. Alright you guys, we made it to this house. We're gonna go ahead and drop this package off right here. Put a sticker right here. And he's all set. And that's going to be pretty much it. I'm going to send him a message and we'll see what he thinks of it. What's up you guys welcome back today we're going to be talking about how much money did i spend to lift up the budget civic the budget civic is a 2010 honda civic lx automatic uh it's got the r18 1.8 liter and yeah it's a few inches lifted as you guys saw from all the other videos it also has the light bar i removed the front bumper and everything was repainted all around at least underneath like all the black in the front and all the wheel wells it does have brand new tires and let's get into this video and start talking about how much money did i spend to do all this so the first thing that i did was purchase eight coil spring spacers uh those spacers were 5.99 at autozone and I also bought two bigger spacers for the front. So that's a total of 10 spacers that I bought to lift up this Civic. So for the first eight of them that were $5.99, $5.99 times eight comes out to $47.92. That's for all eight spacers. Now, the bigger spacers that I have in the front, I'm gonna throw a clip and I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like. The first spacer is in and it slipped right on there, really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick another one. 
So I got three coil spacers in there. This is 26 and a quarter. Oh my god. I'm gonna show you right now these bigger spacers. You guys see this huge spacer that's right here? This spacer was $16.99. I bought two of these. And those spacers, $16.99 times two is $33.98. What's my next modification? Well, the next modification is the light bar. Sorry, I'm changing the oil right now. The light bar. It's a LED. It's a really strong light bar. It's off eBay. And it's definitely on a budget. It's so nice having a lifted Civic. I could do the oil change without pulling out the jack or the jack stands. So how much was the light bar? The light bar was 38 bucks. I'm gonna throw a little clip of the light bar in action right now. These are my regular lights, high beams, and the light bar. So what's next on the list? Well, the next thing would be the paint. How much was that paint that I use to paint the Civic? At least the, the wheel wells and the front bumper. Ooh. You guys saw that? It's really on here pretty tight. Definitely don't want to rip this up. <sighs> yes, I know. Righty tighty. Lefty loosey. Not tightening it. I'm trying to get it loose. But either way. How much was that paint that I used on, on those things? Well, that was a can of Rust-Oleum, matte black. Those cans run for around seven bucks and I only used half of it. There you go, it's coming right off. Ooh, what a mess. So what's next on the list? Well, the next thing would be the tires, I suppose. That's the last thing that's on the list. How much did I spend on the tires? So, let me tell you about the tires. The tires were a little bit hard to find. I was trying to find something that was a little bit aggressive, but I really couldn't find it. And everything that, that, that was really aggressive was a little bit too big. And I was gonna really have to modify this vehicle for it to fit. I did find a pair of some really nice 
tires but they wanted around seven hundred dollars for them and i said there's no way i'm gonna do that especially for a vehicle that i might get rid of in 2021 so i ended up picking up these tires from ebay these tires were three hundred dollars which is not bad at all they were shipped to my door um, the only problem was they were actually three hundred and two dollars to be precise three hundred and two dollars and for some reason um, the tires got lost and it took an extra two days for the tires to get here which was kind of a problem because I was chasing down the FedEx guy I was trying to find them and I don't know what the deal was but it was obviously in two different trucks so three tires were in one truck and one tire was in a different truck for some reason somebody just rung the doorbell so I'm gonna go check and hopefully my tires are here oh yeah she meaty How are you gonna drop off one tire? What the hell am I supposed to do with one tire? This is a little bit ridiculous. So this FedEx guy dropped off one tire. What am I supposed to do with one tire? It's not a wheelbarrow. It has literally been about three or four hours. And I am missing two tires still, or one tire. I'm gonna throw another clip of the tires right now but check this out huge difference look at that tire look at this one i'm gonna have to take the hammer and the grinder to my boys in case i gotta pound this all together but you guys can see that that other rim is sitting really low so that means it's gonna raise so that's gonna give me clearance up here Do you guys see how massive that tire looks And yeah, I've had no problems with clearance at all with these tires. They've been working just fine. They haven't been rubbing on the fenders or anything. I made just enough room with those coils that I put on there. How much did my boy Henry charge me to install the tires and get the tires balanced? He charged me $25 for the rear when I did the, the two in the back at first. And then he charged me another $25 for the front. That's a steal. He took my old tire off. He threw my new tire on. He balanced it. 
And he threw him in the car. That's fifty dollars for front and rear. So what's the grand total that I spent to lift up the Civic and get the tires and the light bar and everything? Well, the total came out to $478.90. That's for everything. Is it worth it? I believe so. I'm gonna have a lot of fun once winter comes around. And I probably won't get stuck because I'll be able to just cruise right over this snow once it comes down. I'm freezing right now. It's literally like 31 degrees out. So I'm gonna pretty much wrap up this video. Um, I do have my respirator. So we're gonna be laying paint on these fenders and trying to get this Civic on the road. Either way, I'm pretty frozen right now. So we're gonna go ahead and call it a day here and I'll catch you guys on my next one. Peace out, stay safe, catch you guys later.